robots. They do the darndest things, don't they? They do the they? darndest <laughs> things. Uh, they actually can save the reefs. They can. Yeah. Jo joining us right now from Rise, robots in service of the environment. Wow. Uh, Oren Hoffman, he's a chief roboticist at Rise. Hello, Oren. Hey, good evening. What's wrong with lionfish? Well, in one of these uh, unfortunate blunders, um, we, we took a species uh, that was living in our aquariums um, and accidentally put them into the ocean in uh, a part of the ocean where they have no natural predators. So uh -oh. from Latin America all the way up to Rhode Island, uh, these lionfish are really decimating the natural reef populations of, of fish and other, other animals on the reef. Um, Truly devastating. I mean, turning reefs into uh, into ghost towns. Well, we've you know we've just heard recently the Great Barrier Reef is dying. I remember visiting it, and that's some of that's due to bleaching and other climate change. Uh, but reefs here on the uh, east coast of the U.S. are threatened by this fish. They're eating the, the 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 creatures that live in the reef. Is that what's going on? That's right. They they not only do they have no known predators, but they have an incredibly voracious. They're hungry. <laughs> uh, they breed oh. like mad, and oh. they're incredibly difficult um, to kill. So they're, they're the kudzu they're of reefs. Uh, <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> they're they're an incredibly uh, tough invasive species to deal with. So how are what have you created to deal with it? So the issue that we're seeing, and you mentioned before going on break, uh, you were down in Florida. Yeah, they, the, the sushi uh, and, bar was having a lionfish. Lion yeah, uh, you should have tried it. They're uh, they're it delicious. Uh, so in the chat room, people were saying they're they're dangerous to eat. Like they can make you sick. Is that not true? No, no, it's not true. So lionfish, uh, in addition to uh, being pretty it. tough fish, they have some spines on them that yeah. that can sting you. Right. Once those spines are removed, the uh, the meat is delicious and. Really, the, the end goal of all of this is to put lionfish on the menu because that's really the only way that we're going to be able to uh, deal with this invasive species issue is if we can create a market for lionfish meat in our restaurants. Um, there's been some promising developments there. Whole Foods actually on the West Coast uh, started stocking lionfish, which is a great development. Um, but, but the issue that we're seeing is that uh, you can – eradicate lionfish on reefs uh, that are at diving depths. So that's down to maybe 100 feet. Um, the issue is that while that helps kind of uh, temporarily clean up the reefs and, and they're being very successful with uh, the reef organizations down in Florida doing that, uh, the problem is that at depths under 200 feet, you know, recreational divers can't, can't uh -huh. go down there with, with traditional scuba gear. So then you're talking about sending people down with rebreathing scuba gear that takes a lot of training is incredibly expensive um or you send a robot down mm -hmm. and so that's what we're working on here at rise is building a underwater robot that can go down to depths where where divers can't get down to it's an aquatic roomba so is it really i mean was it discovered i read the that it was discovered by the guy who started uh I I robot. robot who who developed the Roomba? So is it like a is it a, is it a lionfish Roomba? vacuum? <laughs> that, <laughs> actually, it's remarkably um, it, it is a lionfish vacuum to some degree. Uh, so the, as you can see in the picture there, uh, the idea is that the will approach a lionfish, and, and the good thing about this problem is that uh, the lionfish are are tough and they know it, and so they they don't really move around much uh, while they're down there. So we can approach lionfish with. Uh, harpoons or electrodes and get right up next to the lionfish. Uh, in this picture, you're seeing uh, 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 the lionfish being surrounded by electrodes. We apply a voltage to it. Uh, the lionfish is stunned, and then we actually do suck it up into a uh, <laughs> containment device so it can go to the surface. And right now we're using that to do scientific studying uh, because uh, it's important to trace the DNA of the lionfish, see what's in their bellies. But the idea is to make these uh, robots available to so that we can start actually harvesting the lionfish for food. And that's the point. You're not throwing them out. You're actually eating them, and they're good eating. That's right. They're <laughs> delicious. They're good cooked. They're good. They make an amazing ceviche, and um, they're, they're not bad in sushi either. So very Man, delicate white fish. I kick myself. Here I am unknowingly <laughs> in Gainesville, and I could have had it. Mm -hmm. I, I, they had this, you know, reefsavers.org and the whole thing, and... 
I, I missed out on, on some good. So will there be a market for, I mean, I presume if this, is, if this works, you're going to have lots of lionfish. That's right. Well, so the, the, one of the problems with, with lionfish now getting them on the market is that there's no steady supply of them. Ah. Uh, really, uh, it's just kind of recreational divers who want to do their part for the environment, trying to clean these reefs at these lionfish derbies and whatnot. But in order to really um, get onto the market, there needs to be a consistent supply. And that wow. means getting fishermen interested in them. Um, and, and so the, the, the end goal is to make a, a low cost uh, underwater robot that can actually be used by fishermen to collect these lionfish in a reliable way so that we can, we can serve the market. Uh, because once there's a reliable supply, um, you know, again, because of the deliciousness of the fish and, and, and because of their, their prevalence, we'll be able to uh, really make a dent uh, on this invasive species. So when I hear about a robot that we've trained to kill things, <laughs> I think what could predator. Possibly go and, wrong? and I think, you know, yeah, like we're, we're getting this delicious food out of it. Mm. <laughs> How can you keep this robot Roomba, this lionfish Roomba, from killing the rest of us? Uh, <laughs> or at least other fish, okay? Okay, I don't let's think start I'd with other fish. Tube. <laughs> so I, I, I think it's important to note that uh, while we do call this a, a robot, it, it is not, you know, hunting fish autonomously or anything oh, like okay. that. It's driven by an operator on the surface. Oh, all right. um, and, and really, uh, the interesting thing is that lionfish kind of tend to clump together on reefs. So you can, you can send an ROV down uh, being driven by a, a human on the surface and, and collect uh, hundreds of lionfish in, in one dive. Um, so we're hoping that, uh, again, once we once we spread these up and down the coast, um, we'll be able to, to specifically target the lionfish that are, are decimating these reefs. Uh, as far as not not um, collecting other fish, um, there's there's vi there's video cameras on the on the device to so that, you know, you can tell that it's a lionfish. And we're also working with some really top researchers in, in machine vi vision to add an extra layer of security there where if the device doesn't recognize that it's a lionfish, it just won't let the human operator trigger it. So there's, there's a couple of safety redundancies there um, to make sure that we're targeting the right thing. Um, but, you know, much like, much like a, a guy with a fishing rod, you know, there is going to have to be some regulation around this to make sure that uh, we are out, you know, collecting the lionfish. And, there's, there's the good thing is that there's just a lot of support for it, both in the uh, fishing community as well as uh, by you know fish and wildlife and, and our and, and the government. You know, man, that's an ugly it, fish, boy. I don't. Yeah. Is there yeah, a lot of mean, meat? Is there uh, a lot of meat in that thing? <laughs> there, there is. It takes a it takes a little bit of a trick uh, to uh, to fillet it. Uh, the guy on the left there, the screen is uh, one of our colleagues out in Bermuda, who we're working with pretty closely, uh, filleting a fish there. And uh, he's he's grinning. He doesn't like being on on camera too much. But he can fillet a fish in in about uh, thirty seconds. Oh, so wow. you know, it's it's not really that different than any other fish. Yeah, it's like yeah, sushi chefs love the challenge, right? Mm -hmm. oh, I'll show you how I can make something <laughs> delicious out of this. So is Rise using uh, this to for any other fish? Like any other? It's in service of the environment. Or you, do you have other robots in the works? So this is our our first mission. Uh, is is to to test the robots out on lionfish uh but as you guys know there's uh there's a lot of invasive species out there and so it's it's you know once we get success uh and, and prove that we can get widespread deployment out of this uh, i'm sure that there'll be a, a lot of other um invasive species and other environmental issues that we can apply our technology to you know the interesting thing about this problem in particular and why we're passionate about it is that there's no other solution out there to um, go after these lionfish at depth. You know, they're, they're working on traps. They've worked with, with fishing lines, uh, netting, um, but really nothing's working. And there's, there's as you could see uh, from that map that you showed of all the red dots and how quickly this invasive species is, is spreading and how quickly they're decimating the reefs, there's, there's just a real desperation in the community uh, to find a solution. And so we're, we're excited by the fact that uh, robotics uh, uniquely is able to address, uh, you know, a environment that. that humans just can't can't get down to. Wow. So where do you stand now? Are, are, do you have a prototype, or how close are you to making this a reality? We do. So we have a prototype that we're we're going to be putting into ocean testing uh, to test out different components of the system. 
Um, there's the, the capture device, there's the containment device where we'll be housing the, the fish. We're working with a great company, Robonautica, on the ROV design. We're being sponsored by the, the, Mer uh, the Schmidt uh, Marine Foundation um, to, to do this first two phases. Uh, the next phase will be going to a, a reef with several of these ROVs to test out whether you know, daily, weekly maintenance on the reef uh, actually can make an impact with robots. Uh, but then the key thing here is, as you said, uh, Colin Angle, who um, is the CEO of iRobot uh, and the team of engineers that we've gathered uh, on this project, we have a lot of experience in, in building low cost uh, but highly capable robots. And that's what's gonna be the key to actually making a dent in this problem is figuring out how to take these usually expensive ROVs and make them cheap enough and easy enough to use that you know, commercial fishermen will be uh, willing to both buy and use them. And I love the idea of making this an economic uh, viability by, by increasing the demand for lionfish. <laughs> That's does it, right. Does That's it taste right. like chicken? It's... If it took, it, no, I'm just kidding. I'm sure it's delicious. I'm, I'm kicking myself for not trying. It. If people want to know yeah, more. They can go to Robots ISE, Robots and Service of the Environment, robotsise.com, and read up all about it. The government of Bermuda is involved in this, as is uh, the Bermuda Aqu Aquarium Museum and uh, Zoo and the Institute of Ocean Scientists, Sciences. Uh, I guess they have a Bermuda Lionfish Task Force. They're so worried about this. And, That's uh, right. And, uh, and I love it that uh, so many uh, diverse groups are getting involved in, uh, in doing this because we want to save the reefs. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget, uh, you know, uh, scuba diving the Great Barrier Reef. It's just something to behold. And uh, we don't want to lose these reefs because they're so important to our ecosystem. Hey, thank you so much for uh, talking to us, Oren. Good luck with Rising. Well, I, I look forward to uh, having you back on. And we'll have a nice plate thank of lionfish. Thank you for your support. Yeah. Getting the message out. Yeah. I think that's great. Thanks, Oren. <laughs> Take care. Okay, cheers, guys. Robots ISE, Robots and Surf uh, Service of the Environment, robotsise.com uh, mm -hmm. if you want to find out more about it. I want one that like kills rats or roaches. It's all meat. <laughs> so true. <laughs> so true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, somebody said, I wonder how PETA feels about this. Nobody's trying to save the lionfish. That's not a problem. Okay, yeah. understand. Yeah. That's not the problem here. They have <laughs> we got no plenty predators. of lionfish. They, we're their natural predators. Yes, we're the only ones, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah.